So uh, you can read all this stuff, but people love videos these days. So here's a few things that you need to be aware of before you try and set up Weber carbs on your vehicle. Doesn't matter what vehicle. Uh, this is particularly important if you're doing a conversion to a multi-carb Weber setup uh, so that it's a new installation on the vehicle. First of all, full ignition tune-up. Cap, rotor, points, uh, check the wires, brand new set of plugs, critical. Uh, you, you can't tune the vehicle when you leave the ignition system as a variable. Uh, setting the timing is critical as well. Uh, next thing on these multi-cylinder uh, applications where you have one barrel per cylinder is a correct valve adjustment. Um, if you don't have each cylinder behaving equally, that's going to create problems. You're going to balance the carbs and you're going to be balancing around and improper valve adjustments. So one valve is opening sooner on a particular cylinder than another or opening later and so forth. So a very careful valve adjustment. Pay attention to the specs for the valve adjustment on the cam you're using. If you're using aftermarket cam, get those specs. If this is a performance application, don't, don't use the factory setting if you don't have factory cams. Um, be, be persistent and patient with your valve adjustment. Get it close. Don't just wing it in the middle of the specs. Try and get every valve as close to the, each other as possible within the specification. It's very, it's very, very important. Um, in the Dino, uh, video that I made a minute ago, I talked about taking the carbs apart. All right. If you buy brand new carbs, uh, if you have them professionally rebuilt, whatever the case may be, take them apart before you install them. Double check all the calibrated part settings. Uh, make sure they're appropriate for what you're expecting for your application. Make sure they, they all match. Um, if the carbs have been shipped, things like float levels can be impacted. So take the time, check and reset the float levels accurately so they're all as absolutely close to equal as possible. Put the whole thing back together. Uh, then you're ready to go. Put the carbs on. When you, when you tune them, the engine needs to be fully warmed up. Right? That's where you're going to be driving cars, fully warmed up conditions. So you need to start the car and get it warmed up even if things are running kind of poorly. Uh, you can ballpark it while it's still cold but warming up. But get it up to full operating temperature. That means fan cycles um, through the radiator, cool, coolant cycles through the radiator. Uh, if you follow those steps, uh, you'll be in fairly good shape. You're giving yourself a real chance with the synchronization. So that's just a few things to look at. Um, if you're putting on used carbs, you really have got to go through them carefully, not just from the calibration aspect, but from things like throttle bore where, you know, if you have uh, vacuum leaks around throttle bore, bores, you have warped parts, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're setting yourself up for problems to get the situation squared away and have the car really running properly. So that's just a few things to consider before you do some kind of a Weber multi-carb conversion.